Well, hi there, everybody, and good Monday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. A little bit of a cooler start to our day out there. In fact, this week overall, the trend is going to be for cool conditions for much of the week as temperatures will remain below normal almost all the next seven days. Sunday may possibly be the exception. So as we look at what we have out there this morning, again, a few passing clouds. Uh, the clouds are a little thicker the farther west that you go, and that will be kind of a continued thing through the day today as southern and southwestern parts of the viewing area will see the thickest cloud cover. Mild, but again, cooler out there for today and also going to be on the breezy side with the strongest winds in northern Nebraska. Heading into tonight, clear skies early in central and west or central and eastern Nebraska with more clouds to the west, but then those clouds start to thicken up towards tomorrow morning, which will be very important to our forecast. Uh, it will be chilly with 30s and 40s overnight, but the clouds rolling in may help things a little bit, especially for folks north of the interstate. And then heading through the day tomorrow, showers starting off out west will slowly spread eastward throughout the day into central Nebraska, and then eventually eastern Nebraska towards tomorrow night. A pretty good chance of rain towards tomorrow night, but the good news is not much for any instability out there, so uh, the thunderstorm threat's pretty much nil. So it's just gonna be mostly another soaking rain for Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, through Wednesday morning. But it will be cool for tomorrow, especially the farther west you go with those showers moving in. We're looking at highs only in the 40s and 50s for your Tuesday. And then heading into uh, tonight, before those showers come, I should say, we do have frost advisories in effect from 1 a.m. until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning in northern Nebraska, O'Neill, Ainsworth, Valentine areas. And that's where areas could drop into the 32 to 35, 36 range. Frost could be a possibility could possibly see those extended a little bit farther south towards Broken Bow and Ord. The big question right now is, will those clouds impact those temps and hold them up just a little bit more? Uh, that's one thing to watch. Then also flood warnings. So we have numerous flood warnings from Lexington westward along the Platte River all the way uh, to Ogallala and then along the South Platte River from there uh, towards the Colorado border. Then also flood warnings for places like Kearney towards uh, the areas around Donovan. Uh, there and that's where we have some pretty high water at this point and you're going to see some localized uh, lowland flooding in some of those locations as the Platte River is running quite high and will continue to run high for quite some time here uh, the way it looks right now especially if we continue to get more rain in the forecast that could just um, aggravate things a little bit more in those locations now temperatures for today mostly uh, with mostly sunny skies upper 50s to lower 60s up north the winds will also be strongest up north at 15 to 25 miles per hour to the west lighter winds highs in the mid 60s partly sunny skies to the south, we're looking at partly to mostly uh, sunny skies with temperatures in the uh, mid to potentially upper 60s. And to the east, we're looking at highs in the uh, low to mid 60s with mostly sunny skies and winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Your extended forecast, again, cool the next couple of days. Highs only in the 50s and perhaps only in the 40s in some locations. A good chance of rain moving through, especially Tuesday night. And those overnight lows, they'll be down around the 40 degree mark. Heading into Thursday, drier conditions for a little while, at least Thursday into Thursday night as we get back into the lower 60s. A cooler day again for your Friday with a 50-50 chance of showers and storms. The better chance, I think, coming Friday night compared to during the day on Friday. Warming up through the weekend. Now, there is the potential, and if I have to pinpoint any chance or the best chance for severe weather uh, this week ahead of us, it would be on Saturday. There are some things working against it. Of course, you see the cooler conditions on Saturday, and, and we could see some morning shower and thunderstorm activity that could keep that instability down for the afternoon. Better chance of showers and storms and severe weather for Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. But and nonetheless, at least mentioning that there is the chance for some severe weather for the first half of the weekend. Still some uh, off, and on, off and on often on shower and thunderstorm activity possible even into Sunday, a windier day as a, uh, as we'll see highs actually get a little bit warmer uh, on the backside of the system getting into the 70s on Sunday and getting us back to around normal for this time of the year. So many chances of rain, but the big theme this week uh, for a lot of kids wrapping up school this week, not going to feel a whole lot like summer just quite yet. It's going to feel a little more like April conditions out there with the cool conditions sticking around most of the week ahead of us. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you have a great Monday.